Hello again, and how are you? Now, from that last conversation, we learned that Sharon works too much and Peter sings too much. How about you? Do you work too much? What time do you get up in the morning? 6.45? 7 o'clock? 7.15? 7.30? Well, I'm going to describe my typical day and I'm going to use the simple present to do that. All right? Well, first, I wake up at 6.45, but I don't get up. I listen to the radio and I listen to the news. Then after I slowly get up, that's difficult, and I take a shower. I take a shower. I get dressed and then I go for a walk with Suki. Then we have breakfast together. She has dog biscuits and I have toast, marmalade and butter. Then I go to work on my scooter. Now my boyfriend has a different day because he goes to work at eight o'clock at night. Remember, he's a jazz musician. Now, did you notice I said he goes to work? That's because with the third person, we add an S, goes. He goes to work at eight o'clock and he comes home at three o'clock in the morning because he plays jazz concerts. Then he goes to bed and he gets up at lunchtime at one o'clock. So we meet at dinner, which is, you know, we don't have much time together, but that's life. Now that was the simple present tense. And now we're going to see that on the screen. Very, very important, this grammatical form. So I work. You work, he, she, it works, she works, it works, we work, you work, they work. Now, very often you forget to put the S on the third person, so I have another teaching assistant who will help you to remember, Mr. Snakes. He is here to help you remember to put the S on the third person. So listen, I work at home, you work every day, he works uh, at night, she works in an office, it works all week, we work together, you work full time, they work at weekends. So remember, it's not difficult, the simple present in English. I work, you work, he works, she works, it works. Don't forget, Mr. Snake, don't forget the S, the third person. All right? Good. Now, listen to the next episode and try and uh, pick out words like often, sometimes, occasionally, because we're going to study those next. All right? Go and have some fun. Bye.